want to show you some interesting geological formation. It's like a big rock. Looks like a mica, but it's not mica. And when it uh, crumbles or when it uh, dislodged from the big rock, it's like mica, but in a, the biggest slices. And if you hear the sound, like a, it's a very, very hard material. And if I look at the structure, so let's take one of these plates. The edges are sharp, sharp. You can use it as a knife. And it's very hard material. So I'm trying to break this uh, this type of edge. See, it's leaving marks on the other one, but it's not dull. I mean, it does it does kind of uh, worn out or does get dull, but it's very hard. So. Wow. See? It's it's very neat, very very interesting. And I think it contains I don't know something because I see uh, rusty on that side. So see? It's it's thin, but if I drop it, it doesn't break. So I'm, I'm kind of concerned to I'm trying to break it. Wow. It took some force. And look at the cut. Nice. I'm impressed. And the whole area is made out of this type of rock. And you see, it's oxidized. So I guess it contains some sort of a iron compound. It's amazing. I'm not supposed to be uh, in this area because anything falls can cut me, can get some slices in my body. <laughs> Wow. You see the structure? And look at that, look at that. Everything is made of this type of uh, material. So we assume that, or I assume, that's my assumption, I assume that this was once horizontal and because of the uh, uh, tectonic plate or whatever motion the movement of the uh, of the rocks uh, became almost vertical but it's very very interesting not far from the highway so I thought to kind of show you stuff that you don't see every day could build a little house out of it because it's so so hard material see you later